So what was it like being a first time coach this past year? And also, you know, you're a first time coach, but it's also a first time league in general. So what was that like? Um, it was a lot of fun. There was uh, new challenges that I didn't quite realize, obviously never being a manager before, but um, it was really cool to see the kids uh, progress and uh, to see them, a uh, lot, lot of them get drafted and even more of them sign professional deals to see them to be able to, uh, you know, further their careers, take that next step. That was fun to be able to uh, to watch them perform and to, to try to teach them along the way. And on that same line, how does the draft league help um, these players, you know, to jump into the next level? Oh, I think just playing against the better competition um, gives them exposure to, uh, you know, professional scouts, the teams that uh, potentially are going to be drafting them um, or signing them after the draft. So it just gives them a chance to play, uh, you know, with the wooden bats kind of get uh, – they don't have to worry about school, which is something that's going to happen once you get into pro ball. Um, come out for the summer, you just work on your game. Uh, try to get better and, uh, you know, showcase yourself for the, for the MLB. Awesome. Um, and for, you know, high school players like Grant Hussey, like this is a really big deal because this is really their first look at real competition. Can you like talk about, you know, grooming Grant and some of the other high school players? Like what was that like to have their first real competitive atmosphere? It's good to put them in those situations um, just to be in a league where probably for the first time in their lives, if the competition is, is close to the same ability as them, uh, that's something that uh, there's always going to be a little bit of, a, of an adjustment. Um, probably not going to see, like Grant's not going to see the arms in West Virginia high school baseball that he saw in that league. All those things that uh, that he could learn, and uh, I think that's kind of catapulted him right into, uh, you know, WVU, and I think he's got a good chance to have a good year for him. Definitely. Um, and it's a little bit newer year coming into the second year of the draft league. Uh, changing over to having minor league players after the draft possibly coming in. Uh, what do you think that addition and impact will be for this coming season? Um, you'll be determined, I guess. Uh, it's, it's obviously it's new. Um, we're not exactly sure how it's going to work, but um, I think it brings uh, a little bit better competition into the league. Um, allows kids that, uh, that are with us that don't get drafted, that are out of eligibility, that allows them to continue to stay with us, allows them to keep progressing and hopefully uh, showcase themselves to, uh, to get onto an affiliated team. Awesome. Um, so what kind of growth do you see for this league in the next coming years? Um, I think the sky's the limit. Uh, if we can keep getting the, the quality of players that we've been getting and keep progressing in, in that nature, um, I think everything else is lining up. Um, you know, there's, been, there's a ton of scouts at the games. These kids are – are going to keep progressing. The kids are going to keep getting better, and that only makes this league better and makes the kids better as well to keep facing competition. That uh, I'm not sure if we're ever going to be getting any first rounders because they're always worried about getting hurt. But uh, if we can start creeping into the second, third, fourth round kids, then this league could be really good. Definitely. Um, and so coming into this league, you know, first year, uh, you've probably had many coaches over the years that you played. Uh, what coach has had the most influence on your coaching style i'm not sure what my style is at this point but uh <laughs> i was i was fortunate to play under a lot of really good coaches um, i played under multiple coaches of the year um, bud black mike Schilt, um some of those guys that are just unbelievable craig council deserves to be i don't know if he i don't know if he won it this year he definitely deserves mike Matheny, i think's won one so you guys go through the list of guys that I've played for, um, great role models, great coaches, and I was able to learn a lot from each, each and every one of them. Awesome. Uh, and, you know, coming into your second year, uh, does there come any changes of philosophy, coaching styles, you know, after, you know, it being your first time, is there any changes coming into the new year? Nope. I don't think so. It's, uh, my job is pretty easy. I get to kind of sit back, uh, teach them, uh, teach them in batting practice and stuff like that. But then once the game starts, it's uh, these kids go out there and they showcase themselves. Um, we're not, we're not going to be bunting very much. We're not going to be hit and running. Uh, pitchers are going to go out there. We're not going to make switches to have a left-handed pitcher face a left-handed hitter. Um, you're just going to go out there and showcase yourselves. And uh, you know, before the game starts, when we take them BP and stuff, that's where I get to work with them a little bit. But once the game starts, uh, we just let them do their things. Awesome. Uh, and last question, um, what was it like to have the second most drafted players from this league in this past draft? 
it was cool. I think it's a credit to the kids. They came in, they they worked their butts off, and they showcased themselves well. I like I always told them. I said it from the start that uh, if you win ball games, the scouts are going to come and see you play more. And uh, they really took that to uh, to heart and started playing. They played the game the right way, and we started winning some games. And sure enough, the scouts started showing up. So uh, I just I just teach them to to keep being competitive, keep grinding out every single day, and uh, good things will happen. Awesome. Well, I really appreciate you hopping on and taking the time to do this interview with me. Sounds good. No worries. Have a good one. You too. Thanks.